I'm here on the JVC stand. I've got Gustav with me. We spoke briefly at NAB. Hiya. Hi. Now, we're going to look at the new GYA, GYM, HM. GY, HM600 600 series. series. That's yeah, it. I knew I'd get it wrong, but here it is. <laughs> uh, tell us a little bit about these magnificent cameras. Sure. Well, there's a special development for the VJs. Yeah. We're going to draft, spring out the car, and let's go to shoot. Yeah. What we support with the camera, a brand new Fuji non dedicated lens yeah. with professional feature like a shoulder camera. Yeah. So you have three rings, have a wide range, very high light sensitivity. Yeah. The zoom range is up to 23 times. Right. Really wide angle, really close up. Yeah. In addition, this camera has F12 uh, light sensitivity. In addition, also in very worse line uh, environment, we have uh, low looks and super low looks up to 36 dBs, which allows you to shoot up at zero point looks. Right. So almost no light you yeah. can start up to yeah. shoot. The camera has a lot of internal features, a dual uh, encoding and a yeah. multi encoding. So we have uh, uh, MPEG uh, up to 35 yep. megabit, we have ABC HD, we have HD cam support, H.264 format yep. MOE, uh, and the 650 was a little bit special, has an additional coded for MXF RDD9 compatible. Uh, there is a lot of other features like overcranking, yeah. undercranking, 20 seconds pre-recording, all this is already in. Yeah. TC in and out lock. Yeah. And the 650 is very special by dual encoding. Dual encoding means you record on the SD card, you can use SDEC yeah. cards. On card one, you record HD. On the yeah. card B, you can record SD at the same time, or HD on the card one, and proxy file on right. the card B. Yeah. There is something else, some nice tools which we have around here, holder for uh, microphone issues, yeah. not struggling around with cables, separate audio inputs. But here is a special input at this area. Yeah. It's a USB port, but this USB port is not for memory. It's just for your uh, network connection. Okay. It could be a dongle like this. You go to the normal network. You can remove that, put a Wi-Fi dongle in. You go to the normal Wi-Fi network. Yeah. And if you go, have to go to the mobile environment, you put a mobile dongle yeah. there. You can up to 3G and 4G. Furthermore, if you're alone on the road, yeah. We have a choice. The camera has a built-in FTP client. If you're ready with the shoot, yeah. you do an FTP transfer to your station. So very fast, you can have any kind of resolution yeah. just by an FTP transfer. If you are alone on the road, maybe you are stay in front of the camera and have to use the camera. There's a web server built-in, so I can use any dedicated device. No app is needed. It could yeah. be Android. Apple, whatever, or normal PC, you can connect to the camera. And it has MXF, you can edit your metadata. Yep. And the very funny tool is here, when I switch there, I get a full remote, including live stream of the image, to see myself. I can start the recording, the lamp yep. goes over, I um, can stop it. And even I can control the lens from this position. And the lens will zoom up. To make it easy the live, because it has some delay, of course, okay. by the web. So we have pre-settings. You can select by yourself, so that you have optimum file transfer. Brilliant. We plan for April next year, as an upgrade for the camera, that we also can do live streaming. Wow. Very impressive. Now, this is the 650, and there's a 600 as well. The 600 have basically all the same features, same lens, yep. but not a dual encoding and not the Wi-Fi issue. So, I mean, we've rushed through this because obviously we only have a couple of minutes and there's right. many features on this camera. Correct. Um, if people want to find out more about this camera and the 600 series, whereabouts can they find that information? That's best. You visit our website. It's www.gbcpro.eu. Excellent. Thank you very much, Gustav. Go and have a look at their website. The link is below me on screen and find out more about uh, this camera and, of course, the 600 series cameras as a whole. Everything that we're doing here at uh, IBC you'll find on our website, which is broadcastshow.com.